Hello everyone, my name is Shen Wu Dan. I will present a work named Computing Views of All Ontologies for System and Web. As we know, ontology is widely used and researched. So, uh, what is ontology? In simple terms, ontology is a knowledge representation tool to sharing knowledge. Ontology can be seen as a knowledge base which has vocabulary, syntax, and semantic. The syntax primitives include concepts, individuals, and roles. And here's an example of an ontology called self. Um, here in the graph, the uh, circular nodes are individuals and or in or concepts and the rectangle nodes are rows. Um, in particular, modern ontologies are specified in the web ontology language that has a formal semantics based mainly on description logics. Ontology based on description logics can have unambiguous semantics and can reason in the knowledge. Description logics are a family of description logic, and this work is focused on this description logic ALCHOI. Um, but with the growing usage of ontologies in real world application scenarios, ontologies are becoming big, large in size, complex in structure, and thus more difficult to manage. Moreover, capturing domain knowledge in the form of ontologies is labor intensive. There is therefore a strong demand from both academic and industry for re-engineering with ontologies so that existing ontologies can be reused to their full potential. Computing views of ontologies is one of ontology re-engineering operations that seeks to generate new ontologies from existing ones while preserve the hidden semantics around our interests. Computing views of ontologies can be used in ontology summary, reusing information, hidings, and so on. There are mainly two ways to realize computing views. There are ontology modularization and forgetting. Here's an example. Um, we want to, we consider to forget the elements in the sigma from ontology O. And the modularization methods will just maintain the result of the set of the A is subclass of B, B is subclass of C. Uh, but the but the forgetting uh, but the view created by uh, forgetting methods is uh, A is subclass of C, which is more compact and which is better. So what is forgetting? In simple terms, forgetting is a form of reasoning concerned with eliminating from an ontology O a set of concepts and role names in its signature, namely the forgetting signature, in such a way that all logical consequences are preserved up to the remaining signature. In this case, uh, the forgetting signature is the signature of O minus sigma. Then I will then I will introduce some preliminary knowledge. An ALCHOI ontology consists of T box, R box, and A box. Uh, description logic as logical language has syntax and semantic semantics. First, let me introduce the syntax of ALCHOI. We denote the set of concept names as this, the row names as an R, and the individual names as an I. Uh, for the elements from this set, we can compose some concepts like this. And the T box is composed with uh, by the uh, subclass of axioms and the equivalent axioms between the concepts and the R box composed by um, with the uh, rows 
uh, the subclass of axioms or the equivalent axioms between rows. Um, in A box, we have like these two kinds of axioms. C of A means the uh, individual A is a concept, uh, belongs to the concept C, which can also be written like this A subclass of C. Um, R of AB, which means that there exists, uh, there exists um, a row R between A and B. And then the semantics of ALCHOI is defined in terms of an interpretation I, um, where delta I denotes the domain of the interpretation and do I denotes the interpretation function, which assigns to every nominal, uh, every concept, and every row with a set. The interpretation function dot I can be inductively extended to concepts. We do not list these functions here. And um, in and um, then I will introduce forgetting for ALC HOI ontologies. In this definition, um, this definition states that the forgetting solution V has the same logical uh, entailments as the logical uh, as the original ontology O in the remaining signature, the signature O minus F. Um, and in this by this definition, we can see that V is the strongest entailment of O in this signature. Um, the procedure of forgetting is like first we should transform the given ontology O into a set of transnormal forms N, and then we well eliminate the concept and row names in F, and then we will eliminate the definers introduced in the first step. And at last, we will transform the result N into an ontology V. Uh, let's get into the first step, uh, transformation. Reasoning process, so why do we need the step transformation? Step. Um, Reasoning because uh, reasoning procedures are typically based on a set of generalized inference to rules, so they require the input ontologies can be normalized in some way in order to facilitate the generalization of the uh, inference rules. Our forgetting method works on ALCHOI ontologies in causal normal form. The definition of this causal normal form is similar to the Class of normal form in FOI, but in ALC HOI, the class of normal form is composed by the class of normal forms in T box, A box, and R box. Here are some rules to transform into normal forms. And next, we introduce two special, uh, spe specialized normal forms based on class normal forms, namely A reduced forms and R reduced forms. These forms are um, crucial because they are in, used in the main calculi of our forgetting method for concept name and row name elimination. And these two rows can be used to uh, transform the cross normal form sets into the A reduced form and R reduced form. And then I will introduce about the forgetting method. The calculus of elimination is based on Ackermann's lemma, which forms like this. The calculus for eliminating a concept A or a row name R from N is based on some inference rows, namely the combination rows. The combination rows is applicable to N to eliminate A or R if and only if N is in A reduced form or R reduced form. 
um, we can see that there are only uh, exactly one occurrence of A in the A reduced form, and there are only one occurrence of R in the R reduced form. And the idea of the combination rule is to resolve every positive prime myth and every negative one on the name being eliminated. By combining every possible pair of prim um, primuses with upside polar uh, polarity, polarity, one can obtain all logical entanglements of n in the signature, the signature n minus a or minus r. Um, for distinct forms of positive. Uh, negative premises in a reduced form there are in total 16 different cases of combinations and for our reduced form there are six cases and here are two forgetting examples uh, one is for uh, concept uh, forgetting given the um with two axioms we only want to forget a the first we should transform it into a reduced form like this, then we will uh, eliminate the concept A. To, to eliminate A, we should uh, use the com combination rule into clauses 1 and 3, then we get this. And then we should uh, eliminate the uh, introduced definer D. So use the so we should use the combination rule into classes two and three, then we get this. Yeah. Uh, so as to the so as for the real forgetting. <clears throat> and in our empirical uh, evaluation with a proper type implementation showed uh, superb results on a large corpus of real world ontologies taken from NCB OBAL portal. Uh, there are mainly two results. One is that the uh, pro our method is fast. Um, in more than ninety one percent of uh, these successful cases, the forgetting solution was computed within only a few seconds. Um, what does the successful cases mean? It means that. Uh, in these cases, we can successfully eliminate all concepts and rules in the forgetting signature. And second is that we have higher success rates uh, in the uh, than the existing uh, forgetting like DC and fame, uh, respectively tested in ALCH and ALCHOI fragments of. Uh, Bioportal data sets. And in OR, um, our work uh, developed um, termina terminate and sound uh, and practical forgetting method for computing views of all ontologies specified in the uh, ALCHOI. Um, the empirical results show that the method is fast and with high successful. This is important uh, from the perspective of the semantic web, as it, it provides knowledge engineers with a powerful tool for producing views of all ontologies. And in next step, we will focus on nominal elimination and we will use forgetting for uh, information hiding and privacy production. And that's all, thanks. <laughs>